All right, let's get into the David Chipman vote and what it means for you. Welcome back. My name is John Crump. I'm an investigative journalist with MLA News, the best damn website on the planet, where I cover the ATF, FBI, and all the agencies and organizations that want to violate your God-given and constitutional right to bear arms. I am also a gun rights activist, currently serving as the Virginia State Director for Gun Owners of America, your only no-compromise gun lobby. All right, let's go ahead and talk about what happened today. Today, the Senate Judiciary took up the vote of David Chipman. There was a lot of contention back and forth, people pointing out that he is anti-gun, that he works for anti-gun organizations, and stuff like that. Then you have people like Amy Klobuchar, who claimed that he was apolitical and not a operative, which is crazy because he worked for lobbying companies and lobbying organizations like Every Town for Gun Safety, which is a Mike Bloomberg thing, Moms Demand Action, which is a Mike Bloomberg thing, Giffords, which is Gabby, Gip- Gabby Giffords organization that is extremely anti-gun. And yeah, so he is being moved on. The vote was 11 to 11. So it was a tie. What does that mean? That means that the Senate Judiciary reports to the leadership that there was a tie. You can, they can report it in three ways. Uh, A unfavorable, which means less people voted for him than voted against him. A favorable, which means more people voted for him than against him. Or a no recommendation, which would be a tie. And so it's going to go forward with no recommendation. What does this mean? It means that he will get a vote. It's, it was not looking as good for him because you need to have a supermajority to confirm anyone. And I don't think they have a supermajority because he is really, really anti-gun. But it still will go up and we still have to hammer on our senators not to cave, not to vote for him. So I think this is a good thing that it's a step in defeating him. He's not defeated by any stretch of the imagination. So it's not time to call off the dogs. We need to stay on the senators and say vote no for David Chipman. Just something that we have to do. We have to fight back because the other side, the Giffords and the moms and the Everytown people and the Brady organization, they're gonna be pushing hard to have David Chipman confirmed because David Chipman is one of them, and it would be like me being in charge of the ATF, where I would, on day one, say, okay, stop visiting FFLs, just issue all FFLs, no matter what, automatically, and yeah. So that would be the exact opposite, because he believes in so-called scary assault guns, assault weapons, which is scary. Even though he really can't define it, besides when he did define it, he defined it as all semi-automatic rifles above the caliber of 22 long rifle, which is really ridiculous. So we're going to have to keep on fighting the David Chipman nomination for a couple more weeks here at least, and hopefully we can get that defeated and we got to, at the same time, fight the battle on... Uh, pistol stabilizing devices and on unfinished firearms receivers, which are not firearms. They're unfinished for a reason, also known as 80%. So the comment period on the pistol stabilizing braces and the unfinished frames and receivers are still open. So keep on hitting that up as hard as you can. Comment, comment, comment. All I take, it's not even really hard. Just do a comment, one comment. That's all we need. One comment on each one, and then you're you're done with that. Besides, you know, keeping up the pressure on other stuff. So we are in for a battle. We're not even a year into this battle, and it's already been a hard battle. But we haven't really lost too much ground. We've had a lot of saber rattling, but we haven't lost too much ground yet. So let's get some victories. Let's 
prevent David Chipman from becoming a director of the ATF. Let's go ahead and back down the ATF on pistol stabilizing devices and unfinished frames and receivers. And before anyone says anything, I have no illusion of what our hurdles are when it comes to the ATF regulating some devices. But at the same time, we have to fight him. We have to fight where the battle is. And right now the battle is in the comments. After that, it will go to the courts where we will still continue the battle. We're not giving up the fight. We have a lot of avenues to pursue, but there is a process and we have to follow that process. And we will win if we stay the course and we battle this out in the courts and everything else. Look at bump stocks. We are, we are on the verge of a major victory in, of bump stocks. We've already had one victory in bump stocks, but we're on the verge of having another major victory on the bump stock front. So we have good attorneys. We have really, really smart people working on this stuff. So have faith, support GOA. And with that, I am out of here. I have a Patreon, patreon.com slash John Crump, where you can make, where you can help me make all this great content and go to different events and stuff like that. It would be really cool of you to have your support. I would love it, love it, love it. But the most important thing is to give this video a big thumbs up, share it, because it's all about the algorithm, right? We have to defeat the algorithm, just like we have to defeat the anti-gunners. And you can help me do that by liking, sharing, and commenting on this video. I also have a live channel where we stream four times a week, four, five, six, seven, eight times a week. Uh, John Crump Live on YouTube. The link is also in the description. So go ahead and join us over there and have a lot of fun. I have a Discord, join my Discord and all that other good stuff. But I'm not going to push that too much. So just remember, stay ever free, stay ever vigilant, stay in the fight. I'm out. See ya.